A devastating start to Christmas weekend. At least eight people are dead after violent storms ripped through the South and Midwest. Nearly 50 million Americans could face more severe storms today. Tornadoes yesterday ripped through at least five states. At least 20 twisters have been reported. The storms left at least 40 people hurt. Two others are still unaccounted for. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Holly Springs, Mississippi, where a tornado killed a seven-year-old boy. Mike, good morning. Good morning. More than a dozen twisters touched down on Wednesday. One of those was a long track tornado. It was on the ground for more than 150 miles in about three hours, cutting a path across Mississippi and parts of Tennessee and right through Holly Springs, damaging at least 10 homes. This one a total loss. The wind is blown out. Trees down everywhere up and down Highway 7. You'll notice that. I mean, just huge stands of trees knocked down. And get this. This is the foundation and the front wall blown forward towards the home. Just imagine the intensity of the wind. Survey crews will be out here from the Weather Service to figure out how strong this twister was. Fortunately, nobody on this highway in these homes was killed, but at least five were from this twister here in Mississippi. There's a tornado in front of us. Those are the panic pleas for help from a woman in Mississippi. I'm trying to figure out which way we need to move. We pulled over. That thing is big. She and her husband survived a day of deadly spring-like storms in the south. See debris. Rumbling through the northern part of the state, this massive tornado damaged dozens of homes just outside the town of Clarksdale. Tornado! In Holly Springs, a seven-year-old boy was killed when the car he was riding in was tossed into the air. Roads across the Midwest and South were a nightmare. You can see debris flying into the air as one tornado tears through traffic near the Tennessee border, flipping this truck on its side. This driver captured it on her cell phone. In Arkansas, the severe weather knocked out power for more than 3,500 people. And an 18-year-old woman was killed when a tree fell into this home. Rescuers pulled a one-year-old baby who was with her to safety. The wind was moving, and it was uh, it, it moved through very quick. The storms pounded drivers in Missouri with hail, fueled lightning strikes in Indiana and Tennessee, and left significant damage in at least a half a dozen states. I'm just thankful that our lives are saved. The roof came off, and I had my dog. I was holding my dog. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> I get to see my kids. Even in the midst of the destruction, survivors were reminded that possessions can be replaced. I could just hear my windows breaking out of my car. I was blessed. You know, you can buy the things, the toys, you can buy those over, but I can't replace my kids. Two people are still unaccounted for nearby Benton County, Mississippi. The governor of Mississippi yesterday issued a statement asking for prayers for those impacted by these storms. Benita. Mike Seidel, thank you.